Okay, so let's look at a slightly more involved problem here. Okay, and so we're asked to find the heat in joules that is absorbed when 5.06 grams of ice, which is H2O at the freezing point, is converted to steam at 110 degrees Celsius. So overall, if we're keeping track from our chart, we don't have to heat the ice, we just have to convert it from solid to liquid. So that's gonna be our delta H of fusion times the number of moles, our molar heat of fusion. Um, but look, actually we're given in terms of grams, so we could leave it in terms of grams if we wanted to, but we're gonna need moles anyway for the molar heat of vaporization. So I'll go ahead and do it in terms of moles. Delta H of fusion times the number of moles will give us how much energy it takes to melt the ice. Then we have to heat the liquid. And so that's MC delta T there. Then we have to um, vaporize the liquid, which is the molar heat of vaporization times moles. Or I guess we could say boil, but that's the molar heat of vaporization. And then heat the steam. And that's an MC to 110 degrees Celsius above the boiling point. So that's MC delta T as well and that's the gas phase okay so we've got everything accounted for that we've got to do one part um each individual step we've got accounted for and we've got to add everything up and so if we're looking our molar heat of fusion that we start with is in calories per gram so let's do a quick conversion and convert that into grams or excuse me joules per mole so that it matches what we need in joules and it's indexed in terms of mole. And so if we say 79.72 calories per gram times 4.18 joules per calorie, and we get rid of calories, now we're in terms of joules. But we've also got to um, get rid of grams. So on top, we want grams per mole and grams per mole is the molar mass. So we have 18.02 grams of water per one mole. We multiply all that together. And what we're gonna get is 6,005 joules per mole. And then we have to multiply by moles. And so how many moles do we have? Well, in our given, it said that we had 5.06, 5.06 grams of water or ice, same H2O, times a mole per 18.02 grams. That's gonna give us point 2808 moles and so we take that down here 0 0.2802 moles and now this term is in joules and we're in good shape okay we can go ahead and multiply that out and we get 1686.2 um, if we're looking at how many sig figs that we need we had four um that were given, so we'll go to four here, 1686 joules, okay? Then we want to add in MC delta T of the liquid, so mass is 5.06 grams, specific heat of water is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius, grams cancels. Our change in temperature is 100 degrees Celsius, the final temperature minus the initial which at the freezing point is zero degrees. So that's my that's 100 degrees Celsius temperature change there. And it'll be positive at the end. So we'll end up adding how much heat, multiply it all together. Um, and here to three significant figures would be 21 plus 21. Um, we'll leave it at 15, but let's remember that that's only three significant figures when we go to add at the end. We'll keep that in the back of our mind, 2115 joules. So then our next portion of the 
addition is to take into account our vaporization molar enthalpy, which is 40.7 kilojoules per mole. So let's go ahead and say, well, kilojoules means 1,000. So it's 40,000. 700 joules and let's back out and get some more room here times our moles which we said was 0 0.2808 joules per mole now moles cancels we get in terms of joules this should be 11,000 to how many significant figures three because enthalpy is measured so that 40.7 kilojoules was measured that's three significant figures 11,400 and we will remember that this is three significant figures as well when we go to add at the end. Well, we won't round until the end very much. So 4429 um, there. We do have one more portion to add. I know it's a long problem here. We got to add it in. Try to make it where we can see it here. MC delta T of the steam of the gas phase. So this mass stays the same. But the specific heat we're given in the problem is 1.996 joules per gram degree Celsius. We never needed the specific heat of ice, though it was given. Grams, grams, times the change in temperature, which is final temperature of 110 minus 100 at the boiling point. The final temperature is higher, so that's a positive value as well as we expected. We're adding heat to get this to happen, so it's endothermic. We expect that. Multiply it all together to three significant figures, we get 101 joules. And so if we're looking here, um, we've got one of these additions that's only significant to the tens place here oh, that's hard to read i tried to write tens place there so our addition when we do addition with significant figures at the end all the others are accurate um to the well except this is also only accurate to the tens place so we have to round at the end to the tens place and when we do that we should get a final total heat value in joules as requested by the problem of 15,330 okay because the one's place on two of our um, calculations is insignificant so we round off to the tens place long problem but we can do it if we break it down into simpler parts